Forever Green presents Animals That Live in Coldest Parts of the World Arctic Fox Also known as Polar Fox, the Arctic Fox is found throughout the Arctic regions in the Northern Hemisphere. It can survive at temperatures as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit by burrowing into the ground. Arctic foxes have white fur that helps them camouflage in the snow. Their fur changes color to brown or gray in summer to help them blend in with their surroundings. Musk Ox Musk Ox is found primarily in Arctic Canada and Greenland. Males emit strong odor during mating season. Musk oxen feed on roots and mosses of the tundra and dig for food. Dark fur, which is thick, long and shaggy, covers its entire body. The hair on its body hangs almost to the ground, forming a warm tent of sorts. Long curved horns provide them defense against predators. Musk oxen are generally found in groups, huddling together for warmth and protection from predators. Arctic Hare Arctic hare have a thick coat of fur and shorter ears than rabbits, which conserve body heat. They dig holes in the ground under the snow to keep warm. They are taller than rabbits and are found in the tundra regions of Greenland and northern parts of Canada. They survive in the extreme cold weather by eating willow twigs and woody plants. Their fur changes color according to seasons to provide them the advantage of camouflaging. Arctic hares huddle in groups for warmth and protection. On Forever Green Channel, we have a lot of amazing videos on beautiful animals, so don't forget to check them out and subscribe to Forever Green. Snow Leopard Found in the coldest mountain ranges of Central Asia, Snow Leopard is a moderately large cat with a domed forehead. They have a spotted smoky gray coat of thick fur which helps them to stay warm at such higher altitude. A long and flexible tail helps them maintain their balance on a rocky terrain. They have small, rounded ears and stocky bodies covered with thick fur. Snow leopards are an endangered species due to hunting, poaching, and the continued destruction of threatened mountain ecosystems. Sheathbill A species of southern coasts, the snowy sheathbill is closely associated with colonies of marine birds and mammals. In these colonies, Sheathbills scavenge food and eat the feces of other animals, especially penguins. Sheathbills are odd birds, which have been described as a genus with the general appearance and flight of a pigeon and the beak and voice of a crow. Norwal Norwals are medium-sized whales commonly found in the Arctic Ocean. Narwhals have a big unicorn-like horn on forehead, which facilitates echolocation. The absence of a dorsal fin helps them to preserve body heat and swim with ease under ice sheets while hunting for flatfish. The blubber layer on their bodies helps them to keep warm in the freezing Arctic waters. Their bodies are exceptionally adapted for deep sea diving and can dive nearly 1,000 feet down. Polar Bear the polar bear is fully equipped for Arctic life, having multiple defenses against the devastations of its harsh, icy habitat. A thick coat of long, heavy white fur helps them to blend into their surroundings, besides keeping them warm by trapping a layer of insulating air. Their oily fur keeps moisture at bay and protects it from frigid waters. Caribou Caribous are known popularly as Santa Claus's reindeers. Caribou live in Arctic, subarctic, mountainous, and tundra regions of North America, Europe, Asia, and Greenland. Caribou groups make one of the longest migrations in the world, traveling more than 600 miles at the onset of summer to feed on the tundra. Caribous have a furry coat with two layers. One is a dense, woolly undercoat, and the outer layer consists of long, hollow air-filled hairs. Siberian Salamander During the spring, the melting ice of Siberia unleashes one very unique creature, 
the Siberian Salamander. It is perfectly adapted to the deep freeze. They can stay frozen solid for years before thawing and waking up as good as new. These little lizards have antifreeze-like compounds in their blood, which enable these newts to survive at temperatures of negative 50 degrees Celsius. Tell us in comments which one of these you like the most and why. Thanks for watching.